came from me watching the political election that's just passed, and I became passionate about how difficult it is to govern. So the difficulty with governing uh, caused me to think about what a community would ask of a governor, and so I cast 20 actors to create the community that this governor has to deal with. I made the Duke a young Duke instead of an older Duke, so he is, in through the course of the play, learning how to be a governor. I'm very excited about all the things we were able to draw together. We were able to put an Occupy character into the play, a bad lady into the play. We were able to put in um, a candlelight vigil for someone who's on death row, and these are things that are contemporary uh, versions of what we have going here. Uh, so Shakespeare has been updated to an urban setting where the politics are important. Uh, there's a headline ticker and uh, all these exciting bells and whistles. Shakespeare with bells and whistles. I'm Marnie Kingsley, and I'm the costume designer for Measure for Measure. So it started out with the idea of urban decay um, when Sheridan and I were talking about it this summer. And my design sort of evolved from a couple of fashion designers I really like, um, whose work I was inspired by, um, Alexander McQueen and Vivian Westwood, because um, they, they sort of combine um, a lot of oldie timey pieces with a really modern, slick influence. So it kind of creates a design that can go in any time period and in any place, because we didn't want to make it anywhere time specific. So I have two favorite pieces in the show, and that's um, Mistress Overdone and Pompey, and there she's the um, whorehouse madam, and he's her tapster. And her costume was really fun to design, and also it was a really amazing piece for the shop because um, it was draped by two student workers. And I also got to shop for all the fabric in New York at Mood, which was really fun. So those are definitely my favorite pieces, although I really like the whole show, so. Hi, my name is Abby Reedy. I'm a freshman, and I play Mistress Overdone. Howdy, my name is Ed Rosini. I'm a freshman, and I play Pompey. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> when I did theater in high school, I played a tomboy, old men, or actual men, old ladies, like just nothing kind of sexy. And now I own a brothel. And um, so having the costume, it like exposes skin and it's very tight and kind of a corset and it really helps me get into this mind space that I've really never experimented <laughs> with before. You're arrested and carried off to prison. Worth 5,000 of you all. Who's that, I pray? Minister, that's Claudio. Senior Claudio. Ah, 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 could cool as not fuck it, not here. Claudio to prison is not so. <laughs> Nay, but I know tis so. I saw him arrested, saw him carried away, and once more within these three days, his head to be chopped off. What about you, Edward? Well, um... Uh, Pompey's a really kind of loose guy, and all of his clothing is really loose, and for leading up to the play, I started wearing fingerless gloves, and I brought my own hat, and I brought a vest, so I was kind of prepared for it, but as soon as I got into costume, and as soon as I saw, especially the hat, 
Like, the hat to me is my character. It's this old dilapidated hat that's been, the top's been knocked in, it's just like ruined. And I, I made a joke the other night that I said, like, the hat is an extension of Pompey, and then I took it back and I said, Pompey's an extension of the hat, and it's kind of true. Also, we look like Helena Bobby Carter and Johnny Depp. Oh no, but we actually, uh, we are, if you've seen Les Mis, the master and mistress of the house. It's whatever. <laughs> How is it a different take? How is it in a different oh, take? Yeah, actually? no, this is, this is a pretty... This is Shakespeare with, like, the sax mm -hmm. and the prostitutes and the leather. No British people. No British people. <laughs> no. We're not, like, talking around, like, robots, like, butts off to a night from yonder. No, this is... <laughs> This is Shakespeare broken down and kind of messed up, and it's just, it's Shakespeare like it, it, It's see. kind of contemporary the way that we deliver the lines. We don't, as you said, we don't deliver them like robots, but we don't even do it like old English uh, poetry or prose. We just do it as if it's common speech. Acting? <laughs> what? What? What?